organs playing on their own, mysterious footsteps in the middle of the night, and strange knocks on the doors. That is only a few of the things happening in Sibley Hall dormitory. LUTV's Marie Hart looked into these strange ghostly tales and joined us in the studio. Marie, what's going on at Sibley Hall? It is well known that Lindenwood University co-founder <clears throat> Mary Sibley lies at rest in the school cemetery. But is she really at peace? Current and past residents of Sibley Hall have plenty of stories to tell. Sibley Hall is just a normal dormitory. But as the night rolls in, some residents have witnessed paranormal phenomena. The dorm was built in 1856 and is the oldest building at Lindenwood University. University co-founder and teacher Mary Sibley used to sit at these same halls to educate young ladies in the 19th century on several skills women were required at the time. Mary often sat with her students after hours to sew and play the piano, something she loved to do daily. Campus urban legend has it that the most haunted place of the building is Sibley Chapel. Many have heard stories of the organ playing by itself, but there's more to Sibley than just that. Sibley resident Hope Mayers shared with us one of her spooky experiences. So I'm like getting ready to go to sleep, I'm like laying in bed, and I legitimately felt someone like walk up to the bed and like sit down. Like I felt the mattress give on the bottom bunk, and then the, it was like someone was writing in a journal in the bed. All this happened on the third floor, in which most students agree is the most haunted location in the building. Room assistant Alisa Haynes reported some strange activity heading into the building's attic last semester. There would be one footprint going up in the dust, and then there wouldn't be another footprint for like two more steps. And they were only going up, they weren't coming down. But it is not only students experiencing the weird movements. Housing director Michelle Gisman has had her own share of experiences with the ghost of Mary as well. So I think I moved it a third time and thought, okay, and I'm not telling anybody that I'm doing this, I'm not talking about it. Lock the door, I come back a couple days later, it's back in place. So I just go, okay Mary, you don't like what I'm doing, I guess you're moving the furniture back. I never mess with it again. The witnesses I spoke with didn't seem scared of her ghost, if it is indeed Mary Sibley. They say it's nothing to be afraid of, but just kind of eerie. In fact, before Mary passed away, she told her students she would always be there to protect them. For LUTV News, I'm Marie Hart.